to recommend with utmost urgency for our brothers in Ukraine and in Russia to come as soon as possible to a cessation of hostilities. I propose that the Shangri-La Dialogue find a mode of declaration urging both Ukraine and Russia to immediately start negotiations for peace. Deklarasi berani Prabowo desak Ukraina dan Rusia segera berdamai, ungkap lima poin dan singgung PBB. Menteri Pertahanan Republik Indonesia Prabowo Subianto deklarasikan desak Ukraina dan Rusia untuk segera akhiri perang dan berdamai. Deklarasi dan desakan Prabowo disampaikan pada saat menghadiri Institute for Strategic Studies Sangrila Dialog ke-20 di Sangrila Hotel pada Sabtu 3 Juni 2023. I therefore would like to take this opportunity to urge to recommend with utmost urgency for our brothers in Ukraine and in Russia to come as soon as possible to a cessation of hostilities. I propose that the Shangri-La Dialogue find a mode of declaration urging both Ukraine and Russia to immediately start negotiations for peace. This declaration should be voluntary from all participants here representing their various countries. But I propose the general outline of the peace plan as follows. A ceasefire in place. That is, a cessation of hostilities in place at the present positions of both conflicting parties. Withdrawal 15 kilometers each from their forward positions to a new demilitarized zone. The United Nations Monitoring and Observer Force to be immediately formed and to be immediately deployed along this new demilitarized zone. The United Nations should organize, carry out, and execute a referendum in the disputed territories to ascertain objectively the wish of the majority of the inhabitants of the various disputed areas. But at least let us try to, to put forward some concrete recommendations so that meetings like the Shangri-La Dialogue will have more substance, more meaning. I am of the opinion that the leaders of the two leading powers in this great rivalry are actually wise leaders. I am of the opinion that they are aware of the burden they have on their shoulders. Both these great civilizations have contributed to the great advance and progress of humankind. Therefore, I am convinced that the leaders of both China and the United States will resolve these conflicts through compromise, cooperation, and with humanism, resulting in a peaceful resolution of their differences. I am confident that through leadership and wisdom, great statesmanship will prevail amongst the leaders of these great powers. Perhaps I can be considered one of the eternal optimists. But this is, I think, not only my hope, but the hope of many around the world. I refer to historical examples, the conflict in Korea, for at least five decades, we have had some sort of peace. But at least let us try to, to put forward some concrete recommendations so that meetings like the Shangri-La Dialogue will have more substance, more meaning.